Do you want an amazing marriage? Are you ready to take your marriage to the next level? Then stick around for your Marriage Matters podcast with Marriage Coach Lynn. Let's put some fun and sizzle into your relationship. Congratulations, you're having a baby. Having a baby is the most creative thing a couple can do, isn't it? Isn't it mind boggling that a new living being that is the combination of the two of you will emerge out of your flesh in the near future? What a joyous occasion. What if this is an unintentional pregnancy though? What do you do? Did you know that an estimated 37 to 40% of happily married couples have an unintended pregnancy. Really, it's just time to reorient your thinking, that's all. It's not the end of the world if you are pregnant and feel that this is not the optimal timing. Life is not always 100% under our control, and the sooner you acknowledge that, the sooner you'll set yourself and your family up for success and happiness. Whether chosen or accidental, you will be preparing for the arrival of a newborn. This time can be fraught with anticipation, worry, anxiety, elation. Your body is changing, your mind is changing, and you will be adding a new role into your life, that of mother and father. You're adding something new to your identity and it's truly amazing. Yes, you are up for the task. Job situations might need to change, social interactions and activities might change, living arrangements might change, as you make way for the baby. In today's podcast episode, I wanna talk about how to have the pregnancy and birth of your dreams. So we're gonna delve in here and just talk about the changes that are going on and what might happen and, and some things that you can do to make it really gratifying. Now is the good time to improve nutrition and diet. It's all for the best. A friend recently told me that there is an increase in premature babies and she strongly suspects that dehydration is one of the main causes. Please carry a water bottle around with you as if it's another appendage on your body. A developing baby whose mother has poor nutrition might decide to arrive early in hopes of getting proper nutrients on the outside. Today let's talk about how to have the pregnancy of your dreams. Like I said, there's no way I can pack all of my ideas into one episode, so please take a look at a book titled Take Back Your Birth, Inspiration for Expectant Moms. This is a new release I recently wrote within the past year. In it, I outline my six birth experiences and share valuable techniques so that you can aim for a short labor, easy delivery, and satisfying new beginning to your family. Many women invite unnecessary stress during their prenatal period. They listen to other women's bad birth stories. They anticipate pain. They worry that their body will morph into an enormous whale and can't help but picture giving birth to something the size of a watermelon that has to pass through something the size of a lipstick tube. Don't fear. Hormones and nature are on your side. If you treat your body correctly and set your mind in a positive direction, that's half the battle. Your job is to focus on the health of you and your baby and to claim the autonomy that's yours during birth. Birth is a big business and you could get caught up in a system where others are telling you what to do. If you have a demanding job or career, ask yourself if you can make arrangements to alleviate some of that stress and reorient your focus. Can you work from home part-time? Are you able to get in a daily walk even if you have just 15 minutes to spare? Women will often bond with other women during the prenatal period also. So don't leave your husband out of the picture. In fact, invite him in. I'm a big proponent of the couple enjoying an intimate birth experience. State your innermost desires and feelings about your pregnancy and birth and have your husband join you. Don't push away, instead invite. You will want to invite him into the rearing of the child, so you might as well start now. The day you begin dating, you begin a dialogue. This dialogue continues until the day you die. Pregnancy and birth incorporate a new type of dialogue. Another book I highly recommend is titled Birth and the Dialogue of Love by Marilyn Moran. The second edition should be available by the end of the year. 
This book will introduce you to the idea that if sex was the private love encounter that made the baby, the birth should also be treated privately and sensually. The author makes a provocative case that birth is a sexual and sacred event, one in which you have to think very carefully about if you want to invite others to this profoundly intimate event. Birth and the Dialogue of Love is filled with love and encouragement for couples who are pregnant. As a home birth advocate and working with other couples over the past 20 years, I found out early on that many husbands are not initially in agreement with the wife's desire to have a particular kind of birth. Don't despair or give up or ignore the issue. You have up to 40 weeks to chat with your husband about the kind of birth you would love to have. If he is a kind, loving man, he will listen to you with an open mind. You may be listening and thinking, birth plan, what? We select a doctor and get an epidural to avoid pain. That's what we do for our birth plan. But I want to ask you to please put more thought into this major life event. I'm recommending three resources in this podcast episode. Please don't make the mistakes I did by not considering all of the options. You have at least four options for the place of birth or the, circum the environment. One, you can have a hospital birth. Two, in your area, if you have a birth center, you can have a birth center birth. You could also have a midwife attended birth at home or even an unassisted home birth. You can give birth on land or in water. So see, you have many choices. Through your research, you can then share with your husband and set aside fears little by little and move in the direction of your, the wife's, intuition about her birth. Men need to take the lead from their pregnant wives. It's her body and her birth, and she is in closer communication with what the baby is revealing. Knowing that men don't read nearly as much about childbirth as women, I designed a CD for men and women to listen to together. You can purchase it or download it on Amazon.com or my website, unassistedhomebirth.com. It's called Your Body, Your Birth, Secrets for a Satisfying and Successful Birth. Whether you're pregnant, you have a lot of tools and resources. Do your research and weigh all your options. You have only one chance at this birth. Make it the best you can. Be the healthiest and most positive you can. Your body is changing. Your hormones are changing. My one piece of advice is to slow down and go with the flow. Give up control. Give up perfection of having a nice, neat home and doing everything for everyone. Take it easy and turn your focus from the outside to the inside. Prenatal time is no time to make major changes if you don't have to. It's a lot of stress on women if they are in the middle of a move during the pregnancy, if someone loses a job, or if there are marital difficulties going on. I would like to ask the husband to pay particular attention at nurturing the marriage relationship while your wife focuses on the baby. Don't rock the boat. Easy on the criticism and demands. It goes both ways. Some women encounter minor and major physical nuisances during pregnancy. Do whatever it takes to create a cozy nest of relaxation and prepare for a new person to join your family. Again, cut down on the noise in your life. You might have to distance yourself from certain people. Stay away from negative birth stories. This is no time for fear and resignation, but it is a time for strength, positivity, and a new beginning. Form a protective bubble around the two of you and solidify your team as a couple. Identify helpers during the pregnancy and soon afterwards. I will talk about infancy in another episode, a part of this series. But I want to also um, tell those of you women who are listening to please listen to your husband's fears. He might be afraid of having sex after the sixth month or as you are getting bigger. He might feel the weight of financial burdens and withdraw from you. It's nothing personal about you. There will be a lot of apprehensions about your future and protective feelings for the baby. There will be worries that something could be wrong with the baby. It's a delicate stage in your marriage. This is all to be expected. It's a big responsibility to take on another life, 
If you are unhappy about certain things in your relationship or one of your jobs, have faith and keep moving forward. Husbands, compliment your sexy, voluptuous wife and feel that baby kicking inside of her. It's freaky when you can see or feel a hand or foot in the last trimester, isn't it? Again, I highly recommend my CD, Your Body, Your Birth, and my book, Take Back Your Birth. Pregnancy is a time to dream about the baby's first few months of life and to prepare. I'm in favor of natural birth, breastfeeding, physical bonding, and connection. Some modern moms are interested in decorating the nursery and comforting the baby with the most up-to-date equipment. Either way, you'll begin to explore what is important to you and your parenting philosophies. It's a time of adjustment and readjustment. It's also a time of asserting yourself into well-meaning parents and in-laws. 30 years ago, when you were a baby, parenting styles were different than they are today, and you might have to gently but firmly tell your parents or your in-laws your expectations. Everyone needs to know their place. I am grateful for my parents and in-laws for not intervening. We did things quite differently, and it was also helpful that we lived far away. You will also have to be firm on the first few days or weeks after the baby is born. A lot of people will want to come over, see the baby, and pick up the baby. Some new parents want two weeks of solitude with their newborn, and some more want more time than that. This can be tricky, but stick to your intentions. I would like to repeat the three resources that I mentioned. Birth and the Dialogue of Love is a book by Marilyn Moran. I recently wrote Take Back Your Birth, Inspirations for Expectant Moms, and the title of the CD is Your Body, Your Birth, Secrets for a Successful and Satisfying Birth by Lynn Griesmer. You can check my website or make a purchase on Amazon.com. The bottom line in having a new baby is that a new transition is taking place, and don't be afraid to do what comes natural. Loosen up and do your best. Enjoy it, have fun with it, love every moment. That's all you can do. Be prepared and be positive. Next week, we'll talk about how infancy changes marriage. Until then, make your marriage great.